Hi guys, it's Rachel here with Kuma. Alright, there we go, nice and steady camera. As I was saying, it's Rachel here with Kuma. And we are going to be working on some more excitement today. I was told um, a lot of the pulling of the leash and uh, basically also just flat out excitement, making sure he doesn't jump up, if there's a ball, stuff like that. So, we're going to do a little bit of loose leash, loose leash walking up here. And I'm just going to basically reward him for hanging out next to me, not pulling. The whole walk down here, he was great, so I'm sure he's going to be on his best behavior still. Alright. Open this up. What did I got? Oh, look at you. You're so proper. Down. Oh, good. I didn't even have to say it and you did it. Good boy. Good boy. easier when I have to get them tied up, I guess, for the excitement like everyone else is going to do. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Alright, so as I figured, he's doing okay. We're not doing anything too high energy right now. And I'm not making sure he just stays with me on one side. I'm just making sure that he is walking with me. If he's not pulling, he knows that I am leading the way. Um, just on the off chance that he doesn't misbehave at all, and he is very well behaved this whole time, doesn't pull on the leash or anything, when you are out walking him, walking him anywhere, even if it's just for the drop off or picking him up here, uh, and he does start to walk in front of you, just cut him off. Step in front of him just like that, then he'll kind of be thrown back like, whoa, what's going on? And he'll realize, oh, this person's on in charge. And then you'll be able to lead the way. Anytime he does that, just do the same thing, step in front, and then that will make him go ahead and head off to your side and go along with you rather than thinking he's in charge. What do you think, Kuma? What do you think? Alright, let's try this game. Come on. I was going to use that as a perfect moment for excitement, but it was very short-lived. Just because he did run with me, didn't get too far ahead of me. Boy, I can't even work on commands with you because you already sit just fine, don't you? Alright, we're going to go ahead and dive in. Um, it's recommended to me that I tie him up, run past him, try to get him kind of excited, and make sure that he stays laying down. That we don't want any standing up behavior at all, sitting up behavior, anything like that during this whole excitement phase. his bowl of water. Puma, down. Alright, let's try this. Sit. Good. I'm gonna reinforce that just because we are still new to each other. Down. No, I didn't ask for that. 
he knows shake. That's awesome. If not, he's offering it quite a bit with me, so I would recommend teaching that. Go ahead and capture that. Down. I did not ask for that. Down. Oh, good. Good. That's what I wanted. That's what I needed. Dang. I'm just going to make sure he has enough room. He's not choking. All right. So you can see him all right. I'm just going to run past him a few times, see if I can get him going crazy, really excited. Wait. Bounce the ball around him. Wait. Oh, come on. Alright, so that's what I want to see. Whether or not it's just because he's super tired or if it's because he actually knows what's going on and that he needs to not be excited, I'm going to reinforce him laying down anyway. That way, even if it is just because he's tired, he is still getting it in his head. Okay, I don't get up. I'm laying down while she's bouncing the ball. Even though she's bouncing the ball six inches away from me, I'm laying down. Even though she's three feet away from me, I'm laying down. No matter what, I stay laying down. It's not the bounciest ball because it's a little wet right now. best behavior. Most dogs are when they're in training mode. They usually know what's going on. I'm going to switch his leash over to a different part of his collar. There we go. Just want to give him some love for being so good. Oh yeah, that's the right spot. That's the right spot. Hey, no sneaking a treat. <laughs> He's working on sneaking a treat, but didn't sneak it yet. Good boy. Good boy, Stay. 
Alright, so this is what we want. He's starting to get a little, little distracted by it, a little too excited. Of course, because I'm basically just teasing him the whole time. Uh, this is the reaction I was aiming for from the start with this. Good, good stay, Kuma. Good stay, yes, yes, good stay. Just keep it variable. I like to give him two small little bits of treats instead of just one big one sometimes. Tricks him, makes him think he's getting more. some further distances, we have some grassy areas, we'll walk around those, maybe try to set up some um, distractions around, maybe some people, treats, toys, things like that, and see how he does. But this was a good, small, first starting step for that. And hopefully uh, he won't pull as much in a very short time. But like I said at the very beginning of the video, this is Rachel here once again with Kuma. And go ahead and give us any feedback on how he's doing at home with you and what you might like to see next. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.